Hello everybody, my name is Dan and welcome to Dan's Workshop. Today I got a special video for you thanks to the good folks at Evolution Power Tools. They sent out this, the Evo Mag 75. Now this is a 75 millimeter or 3 inch capable mag drill. What that means is this can drill up to a 3 inch diameter hole through 2 inches thick of steel. That's pretty powerful. So stick around, I'm going to take it out of the box, show you what you get, and I'm going to try and drill some holes in some pieces of steel. I'm going to try and put this thing up to a little challenge to see how well it performs. Now, I'll say this, the box took some beating in transit, but that's going to happen. But I get a feeling that this thing probably held up pretty well to it. I know it weighs a lot. Uh, I believe it weighs around 54 and a half pounds, which, uh, that ain't very light. All right. Now, I know you can't see in here, but let's see. This has got a nice, heavy-duty looking case that it's enclosed in. So, even though the box got a little beat up in transit, I'm pretty sure it probably probably handled it pretty well. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is a good looking case. All right, so welcome back. As you can see, I took everything out of the case. Um, the case did actually have a small crack on the inside. Uh, like I said, that box looked like it got pretty beat up in shipping. However, there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the drill itself. Uh, so, like I said, here you've got the drill itself. You know, stands up pretty tall. One thing that's nice, you've got gear selectors right here. Uh, based on the size of the drill that you're running, or, or the angular cutter that you're running, you want to run the drill at different speeds. Uh, it's got a size, it's got a comparison right here, of, uh, or a chart rather telling you based on what size you're drilling, what speed you should be at. Uh, let's, let me tell you, just in the limited time that I've been handling this thing, this is solid. It is super, super solid. Uh, yeah, so let's see, what else do you get here? Like I said, here's the, here's the bottle for the, the cutting solution. You just literally, you got a little, threaded nut here, a little knurled nut, take that off, there we go, holds it up and out of the way. Let's, uh, let's put the, the handles in for the drill. And here's the chain, I'm not going to use that just yet, I really don't have any application for that right now. It's good to have though, might take a look just to see how long it is. Um, you got the shield that's going to go right over here. Uh, they, they send you a couple wing nuts to, to attach it right here, so it's going to keep everything isolated. This right here is for when you're knocking out the, the chuck and you're changing out. So, you got, like I said, you got an instruction manual. It's written in three different languages. Also, for they make a couple smaller units. This, uh, this manual will cover all of their the three units that they make. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But let's see here. Like I say, you got the case, great case, the warranty card. I'll have to use that later. But uh, I'm going to take a few minutes here to familiarize myself with it. We'll come back. I'm going to start drilling right, everybody. As you can see, I've got the, the drill all out and set up. I've got it plugged in. Um, got a piece of 316 steel here that I got from my local supplier. And uh, right here, I've got a 916th angular cutter. Well, all right, I got my safety glasses on. And uh, even with the, the shield here, you, you don't want to take a chance, so make sure you wear them. You never know. I don't want to go to the hospital to get a chunk of metal taken out of my eye. Um, I got my cutting fluid ready to go. Got a valve right here we turn on. Let's see, you got forward reverse. So I obviously want to go forward because I'm going to try and drill through here. You get your on and off buttons. Pretty simple, straightforward. I like it. So here we go. I'm going to turn the cutting fluid on. So that should be flowing. Let's turn the drill on and see what we can do. Yeah. 
Nice, that was fantastic. That cut through there pretty quickly, pretty easily. Nice thing about the annual covers here from, from Evolution is they have the center pin that actually, when you install it, comes down in like this. And right now it's, it's not allowing fluid, or at least not a lot, to go down into the cutter. But as you start to come down onto the work surface, that pin gets pushed up which allows the fluid to start coming through. Well, all right, let's see, I'm done cutting that hole with this drill bit, the, the, uh, the annual cutter rather. Nice, clean, pretty smooth, hardly any little burrs at all. I mean, that's a nice clean cut, went through smooth as can be, very little effort. I really wasn't yanking down on the handle at all. Um, I'm very impressed so far. Uh, I got a piece of inch and three quarter over here, and I've got a one inch cutter. I think it's time to put that on and see what it'll do. Turn the fluid on. Boom. Let's do this. That was cool. Like I said, that's a one inch hole. It just went through there pretty quickly. I mean, it wasn't exactly like drilling through a you know, half inch piece of wood with a, a wooden drill bit, but it went through. Well, all right, that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. This is an impressive piece of equipment. Uh, you can see it cut through that inch and three quarter steel pretty easily. I wasn't really torquing down too hard. I'm really impressed with the power of this machine. Um, I'd love to get a hold of some of the, the larger cutters just to see what it can really do. You can't go wrong with this tool. It is solid, solid, solid. Heavy as can be. Uh, weighs 54 and a half pounds like I said before. You're not going to be tossing this thing around, but you know you've got a good tool in your hand when you, you grab a hold of this thing and move it around and start using it. Controls real simple to use, easy to access. Uh, this, everything from the, the on-off valve to the, to the cutting fluid to just the simplicity of the push buttons here. If you're going to be picking one of these up, I'd really recommend the annular cutters. They are a little more expensive than twist drills, but they last longer and they cut really quick and they cut nice and smoothly. So again, go check out Evolution Power Tools. Uh, tell them Dan sent you. Great company to work with. Uh, it's evolutionpowertools.com. Uh, if you also, you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And you know, if you have something to say, keep it nice, but leave a comment down below. Uh, if you really like it, why don't you subscribe to the channel. Haven't put a lot out yet, but I plan on putting a lot more out. Made some improvements to the workshop, so hopefully that's going to be a little bit easier to do. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had a lot of fun, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.